You don't want me at the head of the table Well here I am Just cause I'm the first doesn't mean you're allowed to speak about me behind my back I wasn't born ready My parents had plans for me I wasn't allowed to disobey This is a boys club, always has been Sick of sitting on the floor, I won't stay on my knees Give me a seat My last name makes you shake at the knees Ancestors paved the way for me Now watch me I'm not the type to have a breast pulled up My skirt's too long for you to catch a glance Never asked for this, but here I am This is a boys club, I can see that Antonio wants me to follow orders Antonio wants me to play housewife But that just isn't me Got myself a girl, tried to protect Loves Asha too much to, to cause her harm Daddy dearest, wanted me to play house Mommy dearest couldn't take it no more This house holds too many secrets This is a boys club, always has been Sick of sitting on the floor, I won't stay on my knees Give me a seat My last name makes you shake at the knees Ancestors paved the way for me, now watch me I'm not the type to have a breast pushed up My skirt's too long for you to catch a glance Never asked for this, but here I am This is a boys club, I can see that Daddy dearest knew when to pull the trigger Daddy dearest had his secrets Took them all to the grave even after death still caused the hell What can I say about mummy dearest? She locked herself away Took my brother with her I'm a Malalina The first girl to take the reins Just watch this story end with me Made a few mistakes, broke all the promises I've made Hurt the ones I've loved This is my story, Vera Malalina Not as threatening as Mr. Tony Young but I'll be after him. <laughs> okay, so you're probably going, what? Your name's not Vera. And I'm like, I know that. Oh, okay. Um, okay, so, um, let's see if I can phrase this properly. My lecturers think I'm bad at this. Okay, so Vera Marilina Mel Melanina. I always get the pronunciation wrong. I know, I wrote the damn thing. Um, Vera Melina is actually about a story that I'm writing where it's a female who's in the last of her worlds, pretty much. She's the last descendant in her family and she's been told that she's forced to marry a man that she has no interest in to keep like the blood together or something. Um, to, to keep the two different families together. But the trouble is Vera is a lesbian she's closeted and she hasn't told anybody except for her girlfriend her driver and her best friend and I use that term loosely um I know she didn't tell anybody she actually did um so this song's actually about that um and so basically in this world Vera has to figure out what to do you know does she out herself which she's not ready for or does she play by the rules and hurt her girlfriend um, so she's kind of stuck between a rock and a hard place and so that's how the story unfolds but the bigger picture is you know it's a crime story about two different families one of them being forced to come into the other one and the other one going I hate you from like whatever um, so that's what it's also about but then I was also inspired by um, Icon for Hire their song Up in Flames which inspired me to write this so that was pretty cool uh, <laughs> Um, so I, I, I guess it, that song helped me come up with the idea for this song um, but this song is also inspired by something I was already working on and hopefully can bring it out one day and have it be made into something rather than just words. Fingers crossed. I mean I'm working on it. I'm studying for a reason. Um, so Vera Melon, Mel and Nana. I won't get that pronunciation wrong. I can't even pronounce the other things I write. How sad is that? <laughs> What's hope for the real people? Ah. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys liked it. Even if you probably were just like, what? Um, but yeah, thank you. Bye.